Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today in the bottom of my Procreate gallery, I have done a little bit of a test sketch of Maseki because I wanted to test out a specific brush for quite a while now and I decided to take that opportunity today and we're going to be focusing mostly on the brush that I used for the coloring of Maseki right here. Um, just because I really like how it looks kind of like a watercolor look. So this is the old beach brush and I'll get into why I'm using this specific brush over my watercolor brush that I tend to use which is called like the wet brush by I believe like a uh, artist named Paolo and I'll show you guys kind of a comparison. Granted that the opacity for this is not up to like 100% but I still want to show you guys kind of like the edge and the color and just the texture of it is quite different. So yeah we're going to be using the old beach brush for the coloring for today's sketches and the reason why I wanted to use the brush is that there's an artist I follow for quite a while now and I've always adored their sketches and just their artwork that they do for their OCs. They're super cute, super pretty and I love this watercolor texture look. Now I won't be able to achieve it the same way that they have but I still wanted to give the brush a go. So please follow them on Instagram or whatever their socials are. I'll try my best to leave them in the description if you're interested because I really, really do love their art and their OCs. So uh, in terms of what we are going to be sketching today though is that I wanted to try drawing the three siblings um, from Fontaine. So I, I'm probably gonna screw up their names. So it's Linny Lynette, I believe, and Fre Fremenet? 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 I do not know how to say their names. I do apologize. I also don't have their names in front of me, so I could be just butchering the entire, uh, I guess, like the sequence of their letters and their names. So apologies about that. But I wanted to draw the free siblings because I thought it could be just something fun and carefree and a little bit low pressure. Um, but I'm going to take my time to sketch them out here today just because I've never drawn any of them before and usually when I haven't drawn a character before and it's not like for a commission or anything like I'm not going to spend my entire attention on like the one character I like to kind of like sketch out to get a feel of the character so it could be just sketching the character's like, headshot could be the body it could be like a side view like whatever and usually i do a very like simple pose nothing too dramatic very kind of just like not like t pose but just like standing man emoji ish just to get a feel of the character and their outfit usually so kind of jumping into the sketch for the three siblings i did have a little bit of an issue trying to draw them accurately and trying to balance them out because I feel like the more I get used to a character or take a closer look and take my time to actually look at the character's design that's when I actually notice a lot of their I guess like some of their different features like I didn't draw ooh, okay I'm gonna say one two and three so the most right hand character the third sibling so he's like the the one with the blonde hair that covers his one eye I didn't realize how um not droopy his eyes are they're a little bit more not deadpan either they're a little bit more flatter compared to Linny's or lin is it linny oh i don't know how to pronounce their names i do apologize <laughs> once like okay this is kind of like the reason why i usually wait until the characters are like fully announced and like actually revealed so like i can know more details about them i know in the past sometimes i've talked about certain characters that haven't been released and more like rumored or i've drawn characters that were about to be released but usually for the most part i usually want to wait for when the character is actually released just in case like details change or even if the character doesn't end up you know coming to fruition or anything like that i just like to keep things i guess like for afterwards just because i would like to have a little bit more insight but it was really fun to draw the three siblings i think their personalities are very um interesting in terms of like i guess their dynamic so i'm really interested in like seeing more of their interactions together and i do hope in their story in genshin it's gonna be um 
I don't know, a little bit more family focused for them, I hope, um, because I really do want to know a little bit more about uh, why Lynette has, you know, the ears and stuff, and then, you know, more about the third sibling and stuff. So I'm sorry I'm talking about them so vaguely because I don't know too much about them and I don't want to butcher their names anymore. So let's talk a little bit more about the sketch while we're still sketching the three siblings. So for the most part, I wanted a just like a very simple cute pose for all three of them. So I do have Linny kind of in the background because I feel like he's the older one, if anything, or at least a little bit more of like an extrovert putting himself out there. So I wanted him to be kind of just like like arm, like lately hugging the two other siblings, which seem a little bit more um, either shy and then the other one seems just very... I don't know, a little emotionless if anything. So I wanted to keep the pose kind of like more family orientated, but still very just simple front facing poses because I, like I said, I don't know how to draw these characters super well um, because I haven't acquainted myself with the design. And if I wanted to, I would be able to uh, take my time to actually delve into their design and slowly just flesh things out. But, um, in terms of sketching, I decided to sketch with the 6B. I should have probably mentioned that earlier. And just because I do like the 6B look a little bit more with kind of rougher textures or let's say like watercolor brushes or anything that looks a little bit more reminiscent of traditional medium, just because it does have that texture and that grit to it. And I like what the 6B looks like with this kind of just super dark, gray color on the canvas. Now for the canvas color, I am using a different canvas color just because I selected a different file size and I have, I guess, kind of this manila tannish color as the background. Just because I don't really like drawing on a white background, it makes it harder for me to film, but for also my own eyes, I guess, it's feels a little bit less like bleeding into my eyes. It's less blaring and very, um, it's just not as vibrant. So I feel like it's just more comfortable for me to view. But later on, we are going to change it back to white just because I feel like the brush and the watercolor look looks the best when it's on the white, just because there's a little bit more of that contrast of the hard edge and the white of the paper. So also for the sketch, I decided to treat the sketch a little bit differently. So usually whenever I use the 6B, I treat it more like I'm sketching with my pencil in my sketchbook. So that would usually mean I'm keeping my rough lines in, I don't want to erase too much, and I do leave all like my rough lines and my guidelines and I don't really separate them into two different layers. But because I know I wanted to keep the sketch a little bit on the cleaner side and I didn't want to do cleanup afterwards, I did separate kind of like a rough sketch layer, which I did with my painting brush, which is a little bit larger. There's not really any um, tapering or line weight or anything like that too much. So it's easier for me to kind of flesh out the body just by shapes and I can just kind of plan out the composition a little bit. And then after that, I would make a new layer and I would use the 6B pencil to do kind of just my normal sketching, how I usually sketch whenever I'm prepping for digital painting or anything like that, which I'll show examples of different sketches that I've done in the past where I've used kind of like my normal sketching brush, which is the sketch round brush from the Jing Sketches brush pack and then the other ones that I've used kind of more this 6B pencil look I'll show you guys how I usually approach it so I tend to push the values like I said I treat it more like a pencil which I would use traditionally so like building up value I'm doing cross hatching I'm trying my best to just create a lot of contrast between the canvas and the medium that I'm drawing with which is what I like, like usually like to do when I'm working in my sketchbook um, but for here, I am definitely treating it more like how I would sketch with my sketch round brush that works the best whenever I want to work a little bit more cleanly um, versus here, which I feel like it's kind of like a mixture. It's not too clean. It's not too um, like entirely sketchy like with a pencil. Oh, also, so um, how I wanted to do this and the reason why I'm using a larger canvas than usual, I'm using, I think, one of my defaults is like an A4 size paper, which is like around eight and a half by 11, I believe in inches with 300 DPI. 
um, but I wanted to fill the edges also with just some chibis. Now, I didn't want to put two on one side and one on the other to split up the siblings, so I decided to draw Linny twice, so one on the upper left, one on the upper right, and then we have Lynette and Fremine? Fremine? I don't know how to say his name, but I have him on the right side, if anything. And then... Yeah, I just thought it would be kind of cute just to add quick chibis of them. I know they're gonna look super crude and not very well drawn, but one day, I think, maybe next week, if I can find the time, I want to do a little bit more chibi drawing. I kind of miss it, um, and I feel like my chibis have been going through a rough patch because I no longer really like how I draw my chibis anymore. I want to make them a little bit more rounder and a little bit more cuter, and maybe it'll be a fun exercise to do either Honkai Star Rail characters, Genshin characters, maybe my OCs or something uh, to do chibi versions of because it would be fun to do kind of like someone who has a little bit more design or details in their design so that I can take my time to figure out how I want to simplify those forms or if I want to go full on detailed. Um, that could be fun, if anything. I think during the time when I drew mostly 17 stuff is when I drew a lot of chibi work because one, it was cuter. Two, it was very easy to make... Um, artwork of them super quickly because I would only take I don't even know how long. I, sometimes if I go super fast, it would only take me two hours to uh, really pop out a chibi um, super quickly with like a background and stuff. And it's usually based off of like one of the 17 photos, but they're just been chibified basically. Um, but yeah, one day I'll get back to it. Cause like I said, I, I'm in a weird state where I kind of like how I draw my chibis and then I kind of don't. So we'll see what I end up with. I definitely like how I drew my chibi model for my vtuber uh rig but i i feel like i don't know i don't know if i just want to scrunch up their faces to be a little bit more smaller and cuter so that there's no room for a nose or something like that or i just want to play around with the eye styles a little bit um because for the most part i do I don't know. I kind of fudge around with their proportions too, if anything. I feel like whenever I draw headshots like I am right now for the chibis, I give them more of what would feel like an elongated body just because I don't really need to worry about their legs. I'm kind of just focusing on their shoulders. But if you, if I had to flesh them out like a lot, they probably end up really tall. Um, but I guess I'm getting like tea sidetracked. We're not going to be talking about chibis the entire video. So, like I said, I was trying to fill up the remaining spaces around the little uh, main focus of the drawing, which is in the middle. So I wanted to surround them with the little chibis and they can just have, you know, just their headshots, maybe a little bit of, I don't know, expression type things or something like that. I was gonna do like actual just normal headshots of them, but like I said, I didn't really want to split up the siblings too, too much. And I wanted to keep it kind of even. Or like, just because like Linny in the middle um, of the larger drawing kind of splits it my canvas in half because this hat is super tall So I thought it'd be easier for me to split it this way and the chibis just work a little bit better So I don't have to worry about too much overlap with the middle sketch and You can see for the most part uh, the rough kind of sketch lines being faded and not like incorporated kind of helps me keep things clean I didn't end up adding like my own uh, guidelines with this kind of sketching pencil in the end for the chibis I kind of just relied a little bit on that circle and then just went around to wherever I needed to uh, for everything else but um, yeah I think that's um, pretty much it for the sketching though I'm just gonna quickly throw in Lynette and then I think that's it for sketching and then we can talk a little bit more about that old beach brush and the things I like about it and dislike about it or like the things I don't understand how to achieve with the brush and yeah because I still like using my wet brush like I said I'll put up some images of maybe some of the previous sketches that I've done of like characters with the 6B pencil and kind of the wet brush and versus what it looks like with the I don't know like either just pure shading with this pencil or kind of how I sketch when I don't think of keeping it kind of like traditional looking like I'm just sketching with my usual brushes and maybe I have the intention to fully render it or eventually like make it into more of a finished piece I don't even know what that question mark was <laughs> really odd looking 
yeah, here we go. So for the coloring, I'm switching to the old beach. And like I said, I'm going to be changing the background to white. So sorry if the camera can't pick it up too, too well. But hopefully I remembered to turn down the gain so that it's a little bit easier for you guys to view. But once we add color, it will be a little bit easier anyways because we'll have a little bit less white of the canvas showing. So for the old beach brush, I'm treating it kind of similar to the wet brush that I usually like to use whenever I want to achieve a little bit more of that watercolor-ish look. So I'm trying to leave out the kind of the whites of the, the canvas, I guess. I was going to say paper, but the canvas so that we can kind of have a little bit of stronger highlights. So I, the thing that I like the most from Gloomy Homes sketches with this brush is that they have a very clear indication of where the light source is and that intense lighting with this hard edge of the brush looks so nice but they're able to achieve a nicer i don't know like the texture just seems a little bit more prominent and the edges just have a nice kind of watercolor dried edge that i always love when people have that for traditional kind of mediums and stuff or painting mediums with watercolor and it looks super pretty so I tried my best to leave some places that would have white highlight I tried my best to do that for the skin the hair some of their clothing and stuff and for the most part it looks fine on their own but when I look at it as kind of like a full piece together of the three in the middle it feels a little bit weird because I don't have a like a direct like a direct light source if that makes sense i think in the future if i end up doing more doodles like this and maybe i'll fiddle with the brush a little bit more or play around with it so i can get a little bit more comfortable i want to test a little bit more on how i can utilize this kind of texture in a way that feels a little bit more appealing um yeah i feel like i would like to take a look more at gloomy homes work um, obviously for their lighting sources, the interesting like shapes they do for certain lighting situations or even just like the way they add color to certain areas feels very much like how people would add color traditionally. Like you have wet on wet and you have like greens going into browns and like the blues have like warm hues in them and stuff like that. It just looks really pretty in my opinion. So I need to find a way to kind of incorporate that into my sketches I always adore that look for sketches even if they're digital so maybe maybe I'll play around with the brushes a little bit more or if you guys have any watercolor brushes you would recommend from uh, either in Clip Studio Paint because I would love to use Clip Studio Paint and do some sketching on my tablet just normally every so often do let me know um, or if you use Procreate because I would love to find more watercolor brushes or anything that has that nice kind of like rough edge that has like that dark outline around it but has a nice like paper watercolor paper texture to it it just looks really nice and it might be just the colors that I'm using too now that I'm looking at it I don't know if it's because like the way I'm looking at the footage, maybe I can't see the texture to be super apparent in the lighter sections because I can see it in the black areas that I have for Linny, but for the most part, I think it was an okay uh, run of me using the brush. I definitely think Masaki's sketch at the very beginning that I showed you guys has a little bit more of that punchier effect that I liked. Uh, kind of about gloomy homes work where they have such a light like have a, such a strong light source that gives you these crisp edges and this kind of more dramatic look which I think fits with this brush a lot but like I said I'll fiddle around with the brush a little bit and if I find anything that I like or enjoy I'll make sure to share you like share it with you guys but also make sure to share um the link that gloomy home has to their twitter so that you guys can take a closer look at the brush or whatever that they like to use because i believe for their sketches as well they don't use the 6b i believe they use the procreate pencil or pen whichever it is for their lines and it looks really great um i was even debating this too so because I don't treat my sketch lines as the final lines for these ones, they're still very rough. I didn't make them super clean and I don't know if I should have went with a bolder line kind of look 
and maybe made the color of the lines a little bit more like a, a softer gray and then tried that kind of combination out with the watercolor texture that the old beach brush has and maybe it has a little bit better of a kind of the look that I'm going for but I'm not too sure um I'll play around we'll see we'll see where it leads me I guess but if you guys have any other brushes you want me to try out for sketching or you think might match um, maybe my aesthetic or my style, do let me know and maybe I'll give it a try because I like playing around with the brushes a little bit, especially for coloring. For sketching, I feel like I'm pretty plain. I either like things that look like ballpoint pen or a mechanical pencil or just a simple uh, sketching brush like the Sketch Round from the Jing Sketch kind of bundle. But for the most part, I I would like to experiment a little bit more with ways I can kind of spruce up my sketches via coloring, especially for like digital work. I don't know if it's maybe maybe it's a personal preference. I tend to like sketching more traditionally and then kind of fiddling around with the colors that way. So like you can play around with watercolor, you have gouache, you could do acrylic, you could do markers, you could do pencil crayons, anything like that. But for digital, I feel like I feel pressured to always color in a certain way that makes it appear more finished or I need to shade. Cause even like right now, maybe I should have talked about this before. So I did alpha lock my colors so that I can kind of retain the texture and kind of this, this lighting around the edges. And I went ahead and started to add a little bit of other hues and colors and then some extra shadows here and there, especially for the skin, just to warm it up a little bit. But I don't even know if it was necessary. I think if I chose a little bit more of a darker peach tone for their skin, I wouldn't have felt the need to really add shadow. I think because I started off with such a pale base, I felt maybe it was too pale, so I wanted to kind of brighten it up, or not brighten it up, warm it up a bit and add shadow. Because for some of the other areas, like let's say in the kind of gray purple areas, I was just ch like kind of shifting the hues, if anything. And then for some other ones, I'm adding the blue into the black and it just feels a little bit more like that watercolor bleeding into one another rather than me needing to add in those uh, shadows. Because I feel like it's just a little bit unnecessary for this kind of this look for the, the washes. Also, this is what it looks like if I left the background as what it was before instead of leaving it with white. I just think, like I said, it works a little bit better. Um, otherwise, I could just choose darker tones uh, for the coloring so that it stands out from the background. But I think that's about it for today's session. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching kind of like a session of me drawing the three siblings together, the little chibi versions up here. I'll definitely try to draw them either individually or I'll try my best to film and draw like a larger piece with all three. Maybe once I know more about their story in the future. Uh, but I'll just leave a kind of Wow, I can't talk right now. I'll leave you guys with the time lapse here and I'll probably see you guys in the next video, which will be on Saturday probably, which I will also be attempting to use this brush again, but I'll default back to the wet brush. But like I said, hope you guys enjoyed today's drawing and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye!